This is an outstanding innovative set piece try and without a doubt one of the tries of the tournament if not up there with some of the best set piece tries of all time and I want to use this as a demonstration to highlight the importance of the effective use of an unders and overs shape being at the core of any effective strike move and successful attacking side as a whole. After throwing the ball over the top of the line out to the attacking inside centre Fiku who fixes the inside defence before playing a wraparound ball onto the looping Dupont, France then initiate an incredibly effective unders and overs shape. First of all and most importantly Pay close attention to the overs line of the attacking 13 Vaka Tower. He begins his route from a wide initial positioning and his line crucially remains square on his opposite man, the defensive 13, Slade. And although he does inevitably arc his run, coming slightly back against the grain, it is of no significance as Slade, once fully engaged, follows him, rather than allowing the defensive inside centre Farrell to cover him instead. And if anything, because he is fully engaged, the slight arc in Vakatawa's run drags the defensive 13 even further away from the attacking unders line too. But just to re-emphasise, this is only because he was first of all engaged by the attacker's square line. By the attacking outside centre engaging his opposite man, as opposed to coming back against the grain and targeting the defensive 12, it prevents the defensive 13 from being able to swim off onto the unders line as we so usually see. As he must logically remain on the primary threat until he either moves past the ball and or the playmaker has given the pass. And thus the attack has successfully and effectively ruled out a defender, the defensive 12, Farrell from contributing to the defence in the equation, securing themselves the additional number as an effective classic unders and overs shape does. Secondly, Jalibert then runs a wide arcing unders line and receives the pass from the ball player on the outside of the now fixed defensive 13 giving himself a head start in the race into the space outside of the outside centre, allowing him to go on to tie in the defensive open side wing, May, and complete the three-on-two with the attacking fullback Delan and the open side wing, Peno against Malins, the defensive fullback closing the gate. Now it's three on two, and it's just about picking the right option. This is a prime example of the added advantage of running the classic unders and overs shape, as opposed to just the narrow unders and overs shape. As mentioned, if Vakatawa was to angle the gradient of his overs line back in, against the grain and target the defensive inside center Farrell then the attack would have created no additional number as no defender is being overloaded meaning they would essentially just be running hands as England would easily be able to match numbers. However because the attacking 13 begins his run from such a wide initial spacing, it not only creates the room for DuPont to attack the corner and engage the defensive 10 forward, but also, more importantly and crucially, rules out the defensive 12, Farrell, from contributing to the defence in the equation, as he can no longer mark anyone. He can't bite in on DuPont and can't get out to reach Vaca Tower to allow Slade to move on to the unders line. In all, meaning that France have created an additional number who inevitably scores the try. Then the loop around, Vaca Tower comes close, holds Henry Slade, now it's three on two and it's just about picking the right option. 
training ground move executed to perfection. Absolutely check. stunning back play from the French team. Teddy Tom has such a threat on the That's inside it. from that line out inside Fika, isn't he? That defenders stick, everybody sticks. And Jalibert, you could see him. You could see the options opening up in front of him. A big gap between Farrell and May opened up and he went for it. Then he saw it close, weighed up his options for a perfect pass. Split second thinking from a top of the range fly half. That was beautiful stuff.